Sea urchin populations are growing at an alarming rate on Tasmania's east coast. As their numbers expand, so does the damage they cause. It commences overgrazing of, of the kelp bed, so it turns these sort of lush kelp beds that are highly productive into what's called a sea urchin barren. A barren is just as the word describes, a reef desert with very little left but the urchins themselves. While damage has been seen as far south as Bruny Island, it's the northeast that's been the hardest hit. We're seeing places like St Helens that were at the you know, world standard in terms of uh, marine environments and they've been annihilated. After facing the devastation on the seabed, recreational divers recently put their hands up to help the scientists. Other divers were telling me similar things, that gradually their favourite reefs and their nice fishing spots had all virtually been destroyed in relatively short spaces of time. For the first time, about 400 divers from every recreational club in the state took part in a project to survey parts of Tasmania's marine environment. Understanding the extent of where these barrens are uh, and, and what we can do about to reverse this, um, it, having this sort of long-term monitoring information really gives us the, the best uh, information to be able to manage this issue. But that won't be easy. Last year, the sea urchin population grew with a surge of juveniles settling along the coast. Scientists say that's a sign the urchins are here to stay and the damage they cause to Tasmania's world-renowned reefs will only worsen. Their best hope is large lobsters which eat the urchins, but they're being overfished. The big crustaceans are being relocated to trial areas to test their effectiveness. Jane Bestwick, ABC News, Hobart.